Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherall and I am a fourth generation witch. It's January, hands up, who's feeling quite poor at the moment? That'll be me, it's me, I'm feeling poor. And so today's video, I thought we'd look in detail at some coin magic, because coins tap into so many different energies. And so therefore, you can take control of your financial situation in the coming year. So this is my coin magic. Today's video is sponsored by Keen. Keen is a website that connects you with many hundreds of different clairvoyants, psychics, astrologers, and more on that later. Many money spells that I have seen on the internet always say, get the largest denomination notes and coins that you possibly can. And I was thinking about that, you know, a 50 pound note, for example, will encourage you to bring a 50 pound note to your life. However, I don't necessarily have a £50 note at the moment. I mean, who does? They don't even sell them in the bank in my local town. I went there to ask for one because I quite like those big pink things. And they said, no, I can't have one because they don't supply them. I was a bit disappointed. So it got me to thinking, why don't we look at coins instead and look at the smallest denomination coins? In most currencies throughout the world, the smallest denomination coins are made, or used to be made certainly, of copper. And so I wanted to produce a really effective wealth spell using just some copper coins. So first of all, we need to look at copper and its actual qualities. Copper was one of the first ever mined metals of our ancestors. We smelted copper before we smelted iron. We have been digging it up and using it in our daily lives. Since our early ancestors. Copper comes from the Greek, it was called cuprum from Cyprus, which is where the elemental symbol CU, for all those who are chemists amongst us will know, comes from this cuprum, which is named after Cyprus. The island of Cyprus, which is in the Mediterranean, is the home of Aphrodite. And so copper was immensely associated by the ancient Greeks with this goddess of love. And this is also part of copper's correspondences and it does make a really useful medium for a love spell. However, we are on financial situations because it's January and everyone's skint. Copper is well used throughout the medical industry because it's completely antibacterial and antimicrobial. So hospitals use it for doorknobs and faucet taps and high traffic things that you would touch in a hospital. And it's brilliant to keep your bugs down. Likewise, the healing properties of copper are completely well known. My mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and probably generations of the witches in my family before me all had copper bracelets. You know, the ones like this one, which I've got a silver one, with the gap between the two of them. Mine actually has copper inside the silver, but I like the silver colour. And this is a major healing source for rheumatism and other forms of arthritis. It is well known that copper bracelets will help because the energy that it conducts around your body heals you. Copper has superb conductivity of energy and so that's why all our cable wires have copper inside them. And in fact, as a witch, if you have any dud you know, charges for phones that don't work anymore, strip out the copper from them and you can use that copper in your craft. For example, those thin copper wires in those cables can be wound around the base of your wand in order to help it conduct energy better. Because copper conducts its energy so well, any crystals set inside copper will be super conductive and amplify the power of that crystal, much more so than say silver or gold, although that does look better on me, I think. I think it does look better on me, because copper tends to go a bit green, doesn't it? But I like that as well, I think it's pretty. Specifically, if you pair copper with amethyst, this is a true healing talisman and wearing an amethyst set in copper will really help with any of your issues that you might have. Have a go and try. You can test and trial this by wearing it for a couple of weeks, seeing how you feel and then what, taking it off for a couple of weeks and seeing how you feel. I'm always one for testing these because there's no point wearing it if it doesn't work, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. 
So do you need to know what financial situation is going to come up this year? Well, why not try my sponsor today, Keen? Keen connects you with talented astrologers and tarot readers. And it's super easy to start. All you have to do is create an account and then you can choose from the hundreds of readers and astrologers who are online right now. Doesn't matter where in the world you are. You can choose which reader you want depending on their speciality and your requirements. So each reader has their own unique talents and you can connect with them either via text or a phone call. And as a new subscriber to Keen, you can try out their psychic readings for just $1.99 for the first 10 minutes, which is a saving, massive saving of $99. All you have to do is click on the link, which is on screen now, and I'll put it down below in my description to get this amazing offer and huge saving. I tried a reading recently with one of the Keen clairvoyants asking specifically about my financial situation. I've got some big expenditure coming up in the near for the children. And so I really need to know whether I could actually manage to get all this money together, because it's lots. Anyway, apparently I can. So on to our spell, and for this, you're going to be using some copper pennies, depending on what you have in your currency in the country that you live in. And most currencies nowadays that are copper coloured only have about 2% worth of copper in them. I think the Indian penny in America still has a large amount of copper in it. So if you've got one of those, do use that. However, 2% of copper in a penny is all that we need. So the best time to cast this spell is the new moon. This month's new moon in January falls upon the 21st, which is a Saturday. However, if you can't do the spell on the 21st, anywhere between the 21st of January and the 5th of February is great for this month. So between the new moon and the full moon, you want a moon that's expanding in power to help you expand in your wealth. The colour of the candles that we are going to use depends on what day of the week it is. Now I like to use the corresponding colour for whatever day of the week I'm casting the spell on. And Saturday's colour happens to be black. However, if you're not doing this on Saturday, I'm going to put the colour correspondences here for you and you can choose whichever day and colour you need. If you don't know which day you're going to do it on and you've only got, say, a red candle, why not just do it on the day that corresponds with red? This will help amplify your spell and bring it about to fruition quicker. Once I've lit my candles, I like to cleanse my working area. I'm going to use a joss stick today. Just use whatever you have available. It doesn't matter. What we need to do is cleanse the working area of any negativity that could have a bearing on the outcome of the spell, which is why you always cleanse and purify your working area before you start. To make this even more effective, I'm going to use the ancient symbol for copper. I'm going to draw this on a piece of paper. What we're doing with the spell is layering it, so we're adding in elements that will bring even more amplification to it. And what we're trying to do is attract copper to us. If we get 10,000 coppers at our door, that's a thousand pounds, for example. So this is the sigil that we're going to use on a piece of paper which we're going to place our copper coins upon. Next up, we're going to cast a circle. And for this, I want you to use your wand. Wands have particular energy. So I suggest that you use a wand that is all about abundance. Amethyst is particularly good, or Dalmatian stones, or any greed stone like a venturine would be great. However, if you don't have a crystal wand, you can use a wooden wand. Wooden wands have special energies associated with them. And for this spell, I would recommend that you use an ash wand or a willow wand, both of which are incredibly fast growing and very abundant, helping with the prosperity and abundance in this spell. 
I like to use old copper wire from those cables that are no longer useful to me and have broken, of which I have thousands. My children seem to get through phone charging cables at about one a week, and so we have millions of them hanging around. Take the copper out and wrap it around the base of your wand, as this will help conduct the energy for it. Next, we want to cast a circle. I'm going to cast this spell for Clarissa Blount, who told me the other day that she needs some cash, so I'm going to cast it for her. So using your wand, take it and point it, gathering the energy of the copper, and say this spell. By the power of three times three, let all needed coppers come to me. Abundance of wealth for four times four will be heaped up at my door. However, I'm going to do this spell for a friend of mine called Clarissa. So I'm going to change it slightly. I'm going to say, by the power of four times four, let Clarissa's coppers fall at her door. By the powers of three times three, may she never need for me. It's a nice spell, isn't it, that one? Let me know what you think in the comments below and whether you have any other thoughts or comments upon this spell. I also, I'd love to know if you're gonna do it and whether it works. Otherwise, don't forget, there's still time to join the coven. It's coming up in a week. Just go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherall for all the details. Please like and subscribe, because it really helps me. And I love a like and a subscribe. I will see you in a few days.